Have you guys noticed that I've been wearing plaid in like almost every single video? Who's sick of plaid? Not me! Bye bye! I need to hold on to my, my fall scars before suddenly just downpour snow outside because I know that day is coming. I've seen snow recently, like two hours away. It's coming. Just like don't snow on Halloween. That's really depressing. Hello everyone! I am here at the end of October and that means it is time for my monthly favorites and I am so excited. I have so many things that I want to share with you guys today. So I'm just gonna like just get into this. We're just gonna get into it. Okay, let's start with some products which I have all behind me here. Mm -hmm. Mascara! So this is the Rimmel Lift Me Up Wonder Lash with Vitamins and Cucumber. I'm gonna get into the cucumber in a second. But this has been a really good mascara I've been using a lot of lately. It's one of those really good everyday mascaras. It doesn't require a lot of finickiness. There are some mascaras, I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't mind spending a little bit of extra time on my mascara if it means that I don't have to wear false lashes. Pointing to my closet, which houses my false lashes. I don't have a closet for false lashes, I just have they're in there. So this is a really good one that gives you beautiful lift in your lashes and it goes on really smoothly. Also, looping back to the cucumber, it smells like cucumbers. I should specify, it smells like if you sprayed a really fresh perfume on a cucumber. I have to say, I've never had a, a mascara that actually smells nice, so first for everything. Next up we have, oh, oh, this looks, okay, gotta be careful with this one. Don't break it! This is a scent that I've been really, really loving lately. Um, not an every, well, every day, but like not every day. You know what I mean? Like I if, I, if I'm not leaving the house, I'm not gonna put on perfume. Let's be honest. This is the My Burberry, and this is one of their latest launches, um, their fall one. So first of all, I'm just gonna say that I am terrible at explaining scents in general. So I pulled it up on my computer screen, and I'm going to hopefully describe it a little bit better. So according to the Scentbird website, which has nothing to do with this at all, just has some nice descriptions on it. It was inspired by the trench coat. <laughs> all right. That captures the fragrance of a London garden after the rain. Well, that sounds nice. So it's a very nice florally scent, but like a very fall inspired floral scent. You know what I mean? It's not too, um, sweet and summery. It's a little bit more grounded than that. Oh, smells so good. Next up is a highlight that I've been wearing almost every single day that I've been wearing makeup, like 95%. That's a lot. And it is the um, Becca Champagne Pop highlight. It's got that beautiful gold undertone, which is perfect for fall time for me. My mom has it now and she's obsessed. I'm obsessed with it. I'll get it for some of my sisters-in-law for Christmas because it's a beaut. A little bit goes a long way with this particular highlight, but I love it because I love a really strong like glow thing going on, on my cheeks. So um, this has been beautiful. Highly recommend it. This next product was a struggle for me because I was like, <gasps> do I mention this or not? Like this is a favorite, but it's a finicky favorite of mine. Like I don't want to like it, but I really like it. And it's the uh, Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art. And this is in the burnished bling and it's in particular the uh, cream shadow side. If you guys saw my drugstore haul update, then you would see what I was talking about with this one in particular. Um, but the thing with this product is first of all, when you put it on, it's like whoosh, this beautiful, gorgeous copper tone that's super shimmery and pigmented and saturated, gives you beautiful like bling factor on your eyes. However, does not blend easily. And it also does not play well with other eyeshadows. So while I love it, it's also really finicky to work with, but the payoff for me, like I just, I love the effect that it gives on the eyes and I think it looks beautiful. Um, so that's why I'm mentioning it. But if you want something that's really easy, I do not recommend this at all. It is very finicky product, but the color, the color dough. So what I end up doing to make this like the least finicky possible. I will just put this like as a thick liner along the lash line and that I find works really well. It looks beautiful. It doesn't look too heavy or it doesn't look too um, unblended or anything like that. It just looks like a pop of this beautiful shimmery copper tone on your lids and I think that works really well but just <laughs> heads up there. It's a tricky one, but a beautiful color. This next product is a brush that I talked about in my drugstore haul, and it's probably my favorite one of the ones that I got, and I'm obsessed with it now, and I need to use it every time I blend out my eyeshadow. Like, if I, if I don't have it, then 
Like, is there a point? It's so fluffy, it's so easy to blend, and it's cheap. It is by NYX. It is number 17. I have a couple of them that are a little too small um, for just getting a really nice blended look. And also some of them that are just like, they have a couple of little hairs on the top that are super pointy. And they like dig into my eyes. Well, not into my eyes, into the lid. You know what I'm saying. But this is nice and soft and does such a good job at blending everything out. And oh, I love it. And it's also super cheap. Did I mention that it's cheap? Love it. All right, two more products. One is by Urban Decay. This is their 24-7 waterline eye pencil, and this is in Legend, but I really love a lot of them. And this is the same sort of thing as the brush. Like, I really like to do the really strong waterline look that you've been seeing in a couple of my videos, and if I don't have this, there is no point in doing it. And they blend in so much with my other pencils, so every time I'm reaching back there, I'm like, where is it? I find that it stays on the waterline very, very nicely. Now, I don't have, like, super overly watery eyes or anything like that, but I do find that it stays on quite nicely. I would say this one probably stays on a little bit more than the rail, I think it's called, which is the dark brown, but both are really, really pretty. I've also used the blue one, and I think that's it. Those are the ones I've used. If you want some extra staying power, I highly recommend just taking this, applying it to the waterline, and then tapping very gently a light amount of black shadow on top, and that's just gonna set everything and make sure that it adheres to the waterline. But I think this is a good job by itself. I don't know how this would work if you had super watery eyes, but this works really well for me, and I have been really loving this. And then lastly is a lip color that has been perfect for fall, and I've been obsessed with it. And I talked about it like, I don't even know, like back in August maybe, maybe even July. I think that's when I got it. And I was like, this is gonna be great for fall. I'm gonna pull this out and I'm gonna be so excited about it. And I was right. <laughs> Win! And it's the Body Shop Leap Leap. It's Leap. Leap! It is the Body Shop Leap. <laughs> Almost said it again. Let's try this again. Third time's a charm. The Body Shop Lip and Cheek Stick. And this is in a bunch of numbers and letters. I don't know. It's this one. And the really cool thing about this one is that it is entirely black. Like it looks a little bit intimidating when you first grab it, but then you put it on your lips and what it's supposed to do is work with your natural skin tones and lip tones and stuff to create your own unique berry shade, I guess. I recently wore my Pinterest hacks, my Halloween edition in Pinterest hacks. So go and check it out if you want to see what it looks like on the lips, but it just gives this really beautiful pinky berry stain look that's sort of a, a semi matte. It's not too mattifying on the lips, but it's not shiny either. So it's really nice for fall, very blendable, not too strong in pigmentation. So it's very easy to wear and yes, Love this. And those are all my favorites for October. Give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more monthly favorites. And if you have any favorites that you think that I should be going to check out, let me know in the comment section below. Love hearing from you guys. I hope you're all having an amazing, amazing week so far. And I will see you guys all in my next video. Love you girls. Mwah.